A friend of mine dropped in to see me, and we sat down in my living room and we talked for a half an hour, maybe as long as an hour, about deep subjects, such as, is the weather going to change? And then he left, and I found myself asking the question, why did he come? We didn't really talk about anything at all. And then it dawned on me that he needed my help. He didn't say it, but he came because he needed my help. And immediately, I left the house and I went to see him. And then everything unfolded as to why he came and the help that he needed. Close friendships are to be treasured in our lives. Perception is what another is thinking, what another is feeling, and it will help us guard that treasure well of the friendship. We must perceive what the other is really like. Now, the big mistake is that we've known them for so long, we know what they're like. Well, this is not true. It's not true with a spouse or a significant other or a close friend. Not only hear, but work on perceiving and understanding. About understanding their feelings. Now, here's what I'm asking you to do today. And what, a, what an incredible spiritual exercise this is. Take any person in your life circle and perceive him or her as they really are and try to understand them. Look anew. See them as if for the first time. And you may be absolutely amazed at what happens.